Before we start drafting our first uh, AutoCAD part, what we need to do is go to richardplatt.net, as you see here, go to Teach, and go to Tutorials. And we're going to create a template that looks very similar to this uh, drafting sheet that I created for you to do your manual drafting. Now, the only difference is we want to have these quadrant points here. It's just going to be a standard drawing sheet with the layers set up correctly for us to draft all our parts that we create in Web AutoCAD. So let's get started. I'm going to go over here to Web AutoCAD, and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to create a new folder. And in that folder, I'm going to call it ortho hyphen ISO parts. Okay? And I'm going to hit enter, and then I'm going to go over to that, double click on that folder, and open it up. Then I'm going to create a new drawing. Now, the new drawing is going to come up. I'm going to say part hyphen 19. I'm going to get a version of 001 just in case I make some changes. Now you may default and come up in metric. I use it in Imperial quite a bit, so I, it automatically knows to come up in Imperial for me. So just make sure you select Imperial and hit open. What AutoCAD does with their parts is and the drawings that they create is they store them on their Autodesk cloud that's out there with Autodesk Corporation. So your files are actually stored at Autodesk. Now, this is a really an awesome interface that they have for this software. So I'm going to come over here and select on layers. And when I select on layers, you can see it brings out some of the commands here off to the side. Now, if you notice on the layers, there really aren't any. There's the uh, layer zero and def points. We're not going to use those two layers. So we're going to create a new layer. The first layer we're going to create is called paper edge. Now, if I said that just like that, the problem I would have is that it would be in alphabetical order and not sequential order. So I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to key in one dash. And then I'm going to come out here to this box for color and I'm going to go to a color picker, excuse me, right here, go to the color picker and I'm going to pick light gray. And that's going to be the edge of my paper. So I'll create a new layer here. And then on this layer, I'm going to call it two hyphen. And I'm going to say border sheet. Okay, and on my border sheet, I'm going to say light blue. So I'll go over and click the light blue, get that. And that's my border sheet. I'm going to create another layer. And on this layer, I'm going to call it ortho parts. That's going to be layer three. So three hyphen ortho parts. Okay, and for my ortho parts, I'm going to set the color to yellow. All right, one more layer, and we're going to create one for ISO. So it's going to be number four ISO. ISO part. Okay. And on that one, I'm going to make it, I think, I'm going to go with green. So we've got green. And then I'll do one more layer, which should be the only one I'll need. Is this going to be my dimension? So I'm going to put that at layer five, hyphen. And I'm going to say dimensions. And I'm going to set a color on that to be uh, orange. Well, I don't have orange up here. So I'm going to go to my more colors. And it gives me a broader color picker. So I like this one here, 30 for orange. I'll select it and hit apply. So now my drawing uh, layers are all set up for my um, for my part. Now I call this one ortho. Uh, I call this part uh, part 1901. I shouldn't have done that. I should have called that uh, border sheet. So let's go rename that. So I'm gonna do a save as. So instead of saying border sheet, I'm gonna uh, say a part 19. I'm gonna say border sheet hyphen sheet hyphen template okay hyphen 001 now you can come up with any kind of naming scheme you want but this is from a border sheet and go ahead and save that now I should have two files out there now if I go back to uh, uh, save that I'm going to go back to ortho parts in my folder and let's see what we have on that when I come out here so I'll go to ortho parts and it just has border sheets. I need to save it again uh, to create a new file. So let's go back into this file and edit it. Okay, that file's up. Now the next thing I'm going to do, if you notice I move my mouse off my layers, this one up here, the, the zero layer stays highlighted. To, I want to lock that layer. So now what I'm going to do is double click on this. If I move my mouse around, you'll see it's light blue. And so to protect myself from drawing on other layers, I'm going to lock those layers. Okay. Come back up here and lock this one, and I'll work on that layer. Okay, to get started, what I want you to do is make sure that you have selected ortho. And if you select it once, it goes off. If you select it again, it highlights. Ortho lets you draw in 90 degree, 180 and 90 degree increments. So 
I'm going to come over here and select my uh, place line command and I'll just put a point out here now if you look up here that says 34.974 that's 37.4 inches that's kind of big so I'm just going to key in 11 okay and so it's got me a, a line in there that size now I'm just going to roll up here with my little mouse button my center mouse button now, I'm going to come up here to 8.5 inches then what I'll do is I'll come across to uh, let's say 11 inches okay now I can't see the rest of my drawing so what I'm going to do is hook my middle mouse button down and move it out of the way of these prompts that you see here at the lower middle left and so I'm going to come down here and close this guy off okay hit escape and now I've got my edge paper edge drawn okay basically my sheet of paper okay that's good now let's go ahead and lock that and let's go to border sheet and we'll double click on that to make sure that we're set to that level now as you notice here this got this little light bulb or here right here I'm gonna click on that and notice how your border sheet your edge of your paper goes away I'm gonna turn that back on so there it is so let's roll up on this now let's make sure that we uh, have this still selected now if you want to you can turn that off let's just work with it turned off and let's go ahead and draw our border sheet now we're gonna use the border sheet uh, we're going to use we're going to draw this by coming off the sheet of paper so I'm just going to come out here and notice these green things that pop up these are called uh, different connection points or snap points so if we come over here to O snap which stands for object snap you click on this let's make sure yours are set you got to have endpoint selected midpoint intersection apparent intersection extension geometric center center tangent quadrant and perpendicular I would not use nearest that causes you some problems okay so if this looks good we'll go with that if yours aren't selected go ahead and select them so now I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna draw this blue line I'm just gonna get out here on this line and I'm gonna come out here eh, go out about that far I'm just gonna come around the corner like this and you're probably saying mr. Platt you're drawing right over top of what you've already done yeah that's what I'm doing and you'll see why here in a second now remember I use lines okay I didn't use polylines so I just use lines so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to modify you know modify I'm gonna do offset offset lets you copy something parallel a distance it says select select object to copy so I'm gonna click on this and it says specify through specify through point or I'm gonna key in 0.25 okay and then it draws me a line on the other side now I'm gonna confirm that that's good now what I'm doing is hit my t space bar and it repeats that command. So I'll uh, hit space bar again, select on that, and I'll come over and say 0.25, and it moves it over 0.25. I'll hit escape, and it's still in there. So I'll hit my space bar again, offset distance 0.25, enter, grab this guy right here, come down. Now I keep coming down to the inside so I get that border sheet in. I'll confirm that hit space bar again and see this time it says 0.25 I'm just gonna hit 0.25 grab this and it automatically goes in now we need to use the erase command which is this guy right here to erase those outside lines so I'm gonna select on him and I'll hit enter I'll select on let's do that again Hit the space bar erase objects so what I can do is I can click click hit enter let's do that again I hit the guy erase an object got that one I'm gonna hold my shift key down see if I can get multiple objects uh, apparently not so let's go ahead and hit the enter for that one and let's get this guy here hit the space bar again get rid of that guy hit enter okay so got all those out now as you notice in these corners right here these overlap we're gonna use the trim command to take care of that and all I'm gonna do is just come over here and just hold my mouse down and drag over that corner like that that goes out so we'll do zoom enter to extents which is the E and I oops, got the wrong one here say so zoom command hit the Z key and I'll say extents so it's going to zoom out to that one edge I'll come over here maybe take my mouse and come up and we'll go get the uh, trim command again hit delete and delete zoom back out pan over zoom up Let's see if I can get this one out here yeah, taking it out good I'll use my middle mouse button hold it down and pan over and see if we can get this guy out yeah looks like we did awesome 
So that looks pretty good. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pan to the middle of this. We've got to draw that center uh, uh, title block right here off the center. So we'll get to that here in a second. Okay, now what I want to do is I'm going to do a parallel line, uh, excuse me, I'm going to do an offset, which is this command here with this blue line here at the bottom. So right now it says select object to offset. Well, what I want to do is I'll go ahead and select him. And I'm going to key in a distance of 0.75, which takes me an inch off the bottom of the uh, sheet of paper. Now what I'm going to do is go back to my draw command and I'm going to select the draw command. Now remember over here in OSNAPS where we've got this thing called midpoint. Midpoint allows us to select the middle of a line so that's what we're going to do. So I'll close that and I'll come over here and I'll put my mouse down right here because I'm in the specify first point of the line command. Now I'll just take it up here and click on that and so now I've got a line. Hit me hit escape and now I'll just trim that up. So I'm going to zoom up on that, go to modify, go to the trim command, and I'm just going to get rid of it. It's gone. Okay, that looks good. So we've got that out. So we've got our drawing sheet here basically drawn the way we want. Now, based on the size of what I do and the types of fonts that are allowable for uh, AutoCAD like this right here, we don't have a lot of font selections in side of web autocad so we're going to have to kind of play around with the text size so let's come up here let's kind of get zoomed up on this and we're going to select the um, m text which stands for multi-line text and it says specify first corner and i'm going to start right here i'll just i don't know i'll come out to about let's go about right there okay now i'm going to write down my name so it's richard oh remember it's always uppercase Platt, and this is or this is uh, part 19. Put a hyphen in there. We're gonna say put that 19 back up there. 19. I'm just gonna say I can do this correctly. I'm gonna say scale uh, is one half inch equals one inch. Okay, and we're gonna put that equal sign right up here because we didn't do that space over hit the equal and I'm going to check that off okay so it put that in there and that's kind of big so we need to fix that now granted if I go over here to properties you can see the text uh, is very tall so it's the uh, textile is the simplex so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this text here then I'm gonna go to um, that text height I can't change it there so I want to double click on this again so it brings this up and now what I want to do is I want to change that size so I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna key in point two and I'm gonna look at it now and see how big it is well it got a little bit smaller that's kinda of good we're gonna take it down to 0.8175 which is 3 sixteenths of an inch double click and we're going to say 0 0.1875, 3 sixteenths of an inch. Okay, hit enter. And yes, that looks a little more manageable. So what I'm going to do now is double click on it again, open the text up, and I'm going to put an enter right here. So I've got the text on the line down below it for the scale. So I've got that. So now it says plat part 19. And I'm going to go ahead and go to the modify command hit the move, select this part, excuse me, select this uh, piece of text, I'm going to accept it, and then it says displacement, select the base point to move it by, well I'm just going to select right here, so I can kind of move it over and center it up inside my title block, eh, it looks pretty good, yeah that, that could work, we could go with that, okay, so let's zoom out now, keep in mind I'm going to be drawing part 19. We're going to be drawing a lot of parts. So let's go back up here and change that for just a quick second here. We're just going to double click on this again because this is a template, correct? Double click. And so instead of 19, we don't know what part it is. We're just going to put XX. Oops, make it uppercase. XX. Okay. Hit check. All right, looks good. So we zoom out. Let's do a zoom to uh, extents. And so it's like there, I'll just roll that a little bit further, and there it is. Okay, so now we've got our template sheet drawn. I'm going to go ahead and save that. 
So now we have a template sheet drawn. That's good. We're going to use this template sheet for other drawings. So let's get back to our folder and there's our template sheet. We'll stop for now. Mm -hmm.